shop and today I'm going to show you how to sew a v-neck cardigan. This pattern is available in both kids and women's sizes. It's got the classic v-neck in the front and then you can do either snaps or buttons for the opening. Let's go ahead and get started. The first step is to sew your front and back pieces together at the shoulder seams. I've already done that so I'm ready to move on to my sleeves. I'm going to find the center of each sleeve and pin it to the shoulder seam. And then I'm going to pin the ends of the sleeves to the end of my arm opening here. And I'll just ease these two curves together. And I'll just repeat this on the other side and then we're ready to go sew these sleeves into place. After the sleeves are sewn on, I'm going to sew up the side seam and the sleeve seam in one continuous seam. After the side seams are sewn, we're going to turn this right side out and attach the bottom band. So you're going to fold your bottom band in half with wrong sides together and the long edges lined up. You're going to match up the markings from the pattern with your side seams. Do that on both sides and then stretch the rest of the band to fit. The band is going to be a little shorter than the bottom of the cardigan. I'm just going to stretch this band to fit and pin that in place. Bring it out to meet the end of my cardigan. And I'm just going to stretch so that that matches up. I'm going to go sew this on, stretching the band as I go and using my half inch seam allowance. After the band is sewn on, you're going to flip it downwards and then you'll want to press it flat. You can see mine's a little wavy right now. So just use a little seam and give it a good press and that will really flatten it out. Anytime you're sewing with knits, you're going to want to take the time to press after you attach things because it can quite often get a little stretched out. See how much better that looks. So we have that ready, I'm going to set it aside for now. We're going to work on our neckband piece. So I've got this folded in half with wrong sides together, and I've sewn across the bottom edges a quarter inch above the edge. I know it's a little hard to see my seam. I trimmed the seam allowance at the corner. So now I'm ready to add my interfacing. So I've got my interfacing pieces cut, and I'm going to Apply this to the wrong side of the fabric and I'm lining it up with the folded edge, not the raw edge. It's a little narrower than my piece. 
This is just gonna stabilize the neckband where we're adding our buttons or snaps down the front of the cardigan. I'm gonna do the same, same thing on the other side, putting that just above my seam allowance, lining it up with the folded edge. And after you've done that, you can turn the neckband right side out. So now I've got wrong sides together. Long edges are lined up. Then I'm just gonna fold this in half and press going all the way down. I'm ready to attach the neckband. I'm gonna line up the bottom edge of the neckband with the bottom edge of the bottom band. And if you're using a serger to put this together, I recommend basting just for an inch or so along the bottom right here to make sure that this is lined up perfectly flush across the bottom. Sometimes a serger will kind of push one of your pieces out of the way so it's not lined up anymore. So then I'm gonna line up my notch. You won't be stretching this at all between the bottom edge and your notch. And then I'm gonna match up the next marking with my shoulder seam. And you'll be stretching just slightly along this front edge, not much at all. But just a little bit of stretch along here. Match up next marking the other shoulder seam. I do have a seam in my neckband because my rib net was pretty narrow. I had to cut two pieces. So you will not have a seam there. And you're gonna just stretch slightly on the back. And then same thing down the other side. And we're gonna sew this on using a quarter inch seam allowance. The seam from your bottom band should be pointed up. And then one thing, one other thing to double check is at your shoulder seams, make sure you've got the seam allowance facing the same way I pointed mine towards the back. If you had it going towards the front when you sewed on your sleeves, make sure you do the same thing for the neck band so that seam doesn't end up twisted. All right, I am ready to go sew this on. I'm basting the bottom edge of my neck band in place before I use my serger, just to make sure it stays perfectly lined up. So you can check it, make sure it matches up along the bottom edge. If it doesn't, then pull it apart and do it again. Make sure you've got it right. So when you search this on, leave a tail that you'll be able to thread back through and hide. You don't want to trim your serger tails all the way at the end. If you don't have enough of a tail to start with, go ahead and make one before you start serging. I'm gonna use a yarn needle to thread my serger tails back through, make a nice clean finish at this corner. Pull 
pull that back through. Now I've got a nice finish, and then when we top stitch, it'll hold it down. I'm gonna top stitch the seam allowance from the neckband to the body of the cardigan. Since I used an accent fabric from my cardigan, I'm gonna top stitch along the band first with my white thread, and then I'm gonna switch over to a purple thread to top stitch the rest of it. You can use just one color if you want to, but I'm gonna go ahead and take the time to trade out my thread. I've switched over to my purple thread, so now I'm gonna to top stitch the rest of it, and I'm just using a long straight stitch for my top stitching. After top stitching, you can see I've got a little bit of waviness, so I'm just going to press that. You can see how much better that looks after taking the time to just give it a quick press. Makes all the difference. It's time to add your buttons or snaps to the front of the cardigan. I'm using snaps for this one. It's the 12 month size. The pattern recommends three buttons for this size. Go ahead and try that out. That's what it would look like with three. Since I'm using snaps and they're pretty small, I think I'm gonna do four for this size. If I was using like a bigger button, I had these buttons pulled out earlier. I think that, you know, three with these big buttons would look like the right amount. So space it out, see what you think. I'm gonna go ahead with my snaps. So the top one you're gonna put where the notch was on your pattern piece, you can go back to your pattern and refer to where that is if you need to. So I'm just gonna mark that. And then the bottom one will go in the middle of the bottom band, and then you'll just evenly space your remaining snaps, which I normally just kind of eyeball it. They also make like gauges that you can use to help you space things out. So I'm using these snaps that are white on the front. Since this one is for a girl, I've overlapped my right side over the left. Uh, it really doesn't matter, but just traditionally girls go right over left and boys clothes go left over right. So I'm gonna put my prong side of the snap in through the fabric and I'll wash off all this chalk when I'm done. And this goes on the other side. I've got one snap added. I'm gonna add those all down the front and then you'll just mark the corresponding placement on the other side. So I wait till my snap's in and then just kind of lift it up and mark for the other side. So on the underside, my prong side is gonna go on the bottom. Make sure I've got it centered on the placket and on my pattern marking. And the other side of the snap. Now this is the, like the stud side of the snap on this side and the open socket side on the other. I 
I'm finished adding the snaps, so I'm ready to do the sleeve cuffs, and then we're all finished up with this. So I've sewn the sides of each sleeve cuff together with right sides together. And I'm just gonna turn this right side out. Then I'm gonna slide this over the end of the sleeve. Match up the seam and the cuff with the seam and the sleeve. I'm going to stretch the cuff to fit, pin in place, and now I'm going to go sew this in place and I'm going to put my presser foot on the inside of the sleeve. I find that a lot easier with these tiny sizes. After your cuff's sewn on, you'll just flip it down and press flat and then your cardigan is complete.